So from here, the first thing I'm gonna look to do is control my training partner's arm. So I'm gonna reach out and dominate the fat part of his hand. Be sure here, guys, not to be on the wrist. We wanna make sure we're gonna be on the fat part of the hand. If he tries to extend this arm away, it's stuck. Now we also wanna make sure we have a diagonal grip across his body. Don't get confused. It should be one over the shoulder, one under his arm. Now, once we gain this control, we're gonna bring our thumb down and into the chest. See, our trainer partner will always have his neck down. He's not gonna just be looking up like this. If he is, that's great, that's gonna be easy. But he's always gonna have his head down. So our thumb is gonna go down. It's gonna contour our upper bone with a radius downward. Now, as the radius points down, it goes up. That's how you get under his neck. You're gonna use your ear to open up his carotid artery. Now, four fingers are gonna hook on the back of his trapezius. We're gonna bring one arm on the inside. Now, his four fingers go together, you're gonna slide all the way through until you can catch your bicep. Now, slowly, we're gonna squeeze. The keys to success in the rear naked choke is to make sure your arm is completely underneath your training partner's neck. Be sure to catch your bicep and bring the other arm behind your training partner's head. Don't just use your arms, use your entire body. You wanna pull your opponent into you and clamp down with full force. Keep driving pressure and keep your pressure steady.